and I understand I have three minutes, so I have to be very brief. And the first thing you have to always look when you're making decisions, is that the recipe? Or as they say, he who pays the piper calls the tune. And 37% of the European expenditure has to be spent on climate. So you can't spend it on anything else. 20% on digital. That's now got 57% of the spend tied up. And therefore, when you're drawing up your plans, you have to do it according to the rules laid down to you. Otherwise, you won't be able to draw down the money. And it would be a pity to leave 915 million behind us. Now, I would just like to touch on a few issues. Retrofitting of houses is mentioned. But the reality is that the worst 20% of houses in this state need more than retrofitting. They need work done on the basic fabric of the houses. And what we need to do is not to just be looking at insulation and things like that, but in making those houses, houses that are fit and suitable for people to live in, have no drafts in them and so on. Now in that connection, we need to look at how we tender these projects out. And there should be a facility to once again get the small builders of Ireland involved by a more simple, small procurement process that seems to be in place at the moment. The next issue I'd like to touch on is regional equity. We need regional equity. We need all boats to rise together. And I'm afraid that's not always going to happen. I see a mention, for example, in terms of regional equity, about 5G technologies to drive a green or more innovative Ireland. Now that's all very fine if the government insists that every area gets 5G technology. That is not reserved for a coverage of 90% of the population that works out at a very small percent of the land mass. Because when you take the cities out of it, it's, or when you count them in, you have a large part of the population and there are large parts of the country with relatively low density population. So it has to be an Ireland for all. Can I just finally say, when looking at capital projects, there's two criteria. How badly needed are they? But at the moment, some of those very badly needed projects take years and years to get through planning with objections, court cases, and everything else. The second criteria, or we're going to not spend our money, is how quickly can we get any project worth doing up and actually built, particularly over the coming two or three years, because there is an, there is an accumulating problem of actually getting projects delivered and underspends on the capital, part of it to do to COVID, but even before that, underspends were become endemic. I was a bit disappointed to see, well, I was very happy for Cork to see all the investment in Cork Rail, in the commuter rail, Kent Station, doubling the line from Glanton to Middleton, electrification, a great idea. I can't say anything wrong against it. I just wish that they'd thrown the Western Rail Corridor in as a little add-on, a very, very cheap add-on, about 150 million would connect the Mayo towns of Ballina, Casabar, Westport, the West Common Town Thank you, Deputy. and Galway City. So I really think we need regional equity. There's petty change out there. Throw in the Western Rail Corridor, get it done. We own the line. Everything's ready to rock and roll. Do it now.